Hey YouTube, it's Sean with Griffin RC Planes. I'm replacing the bearings in this brushless Outrunner motor. And I just want to show you guys real quick how I press them in. This is my brushless motor rebuild kit. I get my bearings from this outfit here. They are on Amazon is where I found them. And you can email them directly with whatever size you need. When you buy bearings from them, they'll come to you in a little tube like so. And they're, uh, they are a awesome product. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You can tell theirs because they've got the, the blue. That's a good way to to distinct one, you know, others from them. Anyways, you don't want to hammer these in. You don't want to, you don't want to get rough with them. Okay, they're small, they're delicate, and you just need to go easy on them. All right. So I've got a long screw here with a couple washers, and we're gonna make a make a threaded press rather. And then you need a, a washer that covers the entire bearing flat where it's going to press on all the surfaces. Not the center, not just the outside, but it needs to press on everything. And you need to get it started going as straight as you can get it. If it starts to go crooked at all, stop. And then start back over. And it's very important to get these washers and stuff centered when you're tightening the screw to pull them in. Normally I would have it in a in a vise, but for purposes to show you guys, I'm going to do it like this. Once I feel that the nut is starting to get tight, then I'll look at it and see if, if things are aligned. I can feel when it's getting close to making contact okay I actually want to slide that over a little bit just like that And we'll see what it looks like here. Looks good. Now I'm going to replace the bottom one. Here's another. Real quick, these are the people that, that trbrc.com trbrc.com and like I spoke in other videos how some things are proprietary for, for example the bottom of this motor as you can see the four holes there they're not exact you know there's a bigger space between some so your your cross mount you're gonna have to find one that fits this well I've noticed that with some bearings for example, the thicknesses of the bearings are sometimes hard to get. If you can't get one that's thick enough, these people here will send you shims to make up the difference. And right there, you can see I got a bunch of shims. You know, for example, if uh, if you need a bearing that that's five millimeters thick, but you know they just they just don't exist in that size unless this particular motor the proprietary needs it one that's four and a half millimeters will be just fine and then you can put a 0.5 millimeter shim you know but just just talk to these people that this is a you know i don't know how big the company is but i can tell you that when you send them an email they'll write you back and it's the the person writing you back they know what's going on you know, it's not a call center. These people will help you. All right, until next time, you'll see me here.